Good evening. It is election night in America. It's uh, Radio Dawn. Hope you're doing well. Um, and looking at the results, it may not be as bad as we thought it was going to be. Um, it is now, uh, let me see, um, 655 here in Southern California. Um, and the Senate count is tied right now. Um, looking at uh, some of the winners and losers here, New York Senate, um, Amy's uncle is going to be the projected winner with 25% uh, tallied up. John Hoven is the projected winner in North Dakota. He's a Republican. Uh, the uh, count right now in terms of the Senate, 40-40. So it's, it still could wind up being tied here. Um, let's see. Uh, North Carolina, Sherry Beasley is uh, leading. It's too close to call, but 59% uh, per are in, and Sherry Beasley is uh, leading by a lot. Um, J.D. Vance is leading uh, Mr. Ryan. No projected winner there, but there is a projected winner in Oklahoma, James Langford, with 74% of the vote in in Oklahoma. So, so far, democracy is hanging on by a thread. Um, the good news seems to be that, wait, wait, oh boy, this is, this, this is getting weird. I was kind of hoping that I was going to say Raphael Warnock was going to win, but Herschel Walker is leading by 0.1%. And that is with a 76% um, uh, vote count so far. There's a guy by the name of Chase Oliver. I don't know who he is, but he may be screwing things up in Georgia. Meanwhile, Brian Kemp looks like he's going to win this one, but with 76% of the vote in, he's only leading by a little bit over Stacey Abrams. Um, I posted something saying that this could very well be the end of America as we know it, but the way things are going and democracy is hanging on by a thread. As I often say, and I'm basically uh, giving you information uh, off of MSNBC, the best way to follow these things is to follow trusted news sources like MSNBC and NBC News and ABC and CBS. And if you're, you know, if you're there, if 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 you're attracted to that Fox News, I mean, Fox Fox's uh, news operation, actual news operation, is um, is a pretty fair one. Senate this hour, forty one Republican, forty Democrat. Twenty six percent in, uh, in New York for the governor's race, Kathy Hochul. Leads by a lot, but it's too early to call. And uh, we're still waiting for the numbers from California. It's about a, a minute, not a minute, but you know, it is about, um, about an hour and a, a minute left to go there. And if you're on the West Coast and if you're – Polls are getting ready to close. You're in line. Stay in line. They have to let you in, no matter, no matter who it is. There are two abortion amendments that I know of. One's in Kentucky, one's here in California. Amendment 2, the right to an abortion is losing. 
of people are saying no. So that's, that is interesting. In Michigan, though, right to abortion is leading. Uh, 55 to 45 are saying yes to that. So, you know, depending on your, um, on your location, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Next poll, cl poll closings are going to be in uh, Montana, Nevada, and Utah. That's coming up in five, four, three, two, one. And the uh, MSNBC projections this hour. Um, well, actually, there's no, none because the, the numbers haven't come in, but uh, they're waiting on Nevada's Senate races and stuff like that. Uh, Utah Senate, um, Mike Lee, uh, who is a Republican, Evan McMillan, who is, a, who is an independent, it's too early to call. Also, the Nevada governor's race, too early to call. Senate races. Um, too close to call in North Carolina. Ted Budd was a Republican. 50.9% 50, 50 as opposed to Sherry Beasley, 49%. Raphael Warnock has retaken the lead in Georgia with 77% vote in. But it's really close. Too early to call between J.D. Vance and Tim Ryan in Ohio, Senate seat there. It's also too early to call uh, Fetterman versus Oz in Pennsylvania, although Fetterman is ahead. Maggie Hassan in New Hampshire, who's the Democrat, is leading, leading Donald Bolduck, but it's too early to call with 37% in. Hassan has 57.2% of the vote. Bullduck has 41.6. In Arizona, Mark Kelly versus Republican Blake Masters, too early to call at 7.02 uh, in the evening. And Senate at this hour, Democrats 40, GOP 41. It's going to be a close one, folks. It's going to be a close one. Uh, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Uh, I do have my own my uh, obviously I have my own um, feelings about this and my own um, being afraid of what could happen um, but the way things are going it may not be as bad of a defeat for democracy as we thought it was going to be. So this could be a very long night, folks. I will try to be back a little bit later on. To those who are watching us, uh, I'd like for you to follow us wherever we are. Um, one tree slash Radio Don. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. -E slash Radio Dawn, all of our social media and video places are there, as well as uh, our new blog and other stuff. Also, a way you can support us. Also, if you take a look at the upper right-hand corner, you see a little, uh, a little code there. You can snap a picture of that. And uh, if you want to help us to you know, keep, keep, keep going, you know, click that and help us out there. Okay, it is now 7.04. As I said, better information comes from your trusted sources of information. I may be back a little bit later on tonight um, with my own little comments on all this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.